This is Solver. Just some few months ago, Huawei officially released the Harmony OS NS version in China, making this mobile operating system the newest and the third largest mobile operating system globally. In just some few months, this mobile operating system managed to dethrone Apple's iOS. It became the second largest mobile operating system in the Chinese market. This, in my view, remains one of Huawei's remarkable achievements in 2024. But there is one most important question that remains unanswered. Said. That is, when exactly are we seeing Huawei rolling out the Harmony operating system for global users? As it seems, the current version of the Harmony operating system NES is only available in the Chinese market. Now, an executive of Huawei recently revealed a master plan Huawei intends to follow when it comes to the rollout of the Harmony operating system in the coming year, which is 2025. As much as this master plan of Huawei remains promising, there is another side of the story for which many Huawei fans around the world are concerned about this i will be diving deeper in today's update by the way kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update on this matter now during the third quarter of 2024 we saw huawei officially launching the harmon os nest version for the chinese market only this version of the operating system was 100 percent clean and free from android source codes marking this version of the operating system as a standalone mobile operating system just as google's android operating system and apple's ios platform now, the Harmony operating system made its debut on the recent MatePad Pro tablet, the Mate XT foldable, and the newly released Mate 70 series, giving us the clue that Huawei was going all out when it comes to the pre-installation of the Harmony operating system on all future Huawei smartphones and Huawei gadgets as well. Now, according to an executive of Huawei, starting from 2025, all Huawei smartphones will use the Harmony OS Nest software, which is a positive news, but they intend to restrict the Harmony operating system to gadgets that will be sold in China only, which therefore means that Huawei will not be rolling out the Harmony operating system NES for global users once again. As I have always been saying, when it comes to the rollout of the Harmony operating system NES for global market, this comes with a lot of complications. So, to me, it makes a lot of business sense for Huawei to focus and use the Chinese market as a test market before they attempt to roll out the Harmony OS NES for global users. Now, Huawei's biggest challenge when it comes to the rollout of the Harmony OS NES to the global market as at now is the fact that Huawei still needs to get more app developers onto their ecosystem, especially foreign and popular app developers. Bear in mind that most of these app developers for the past years have not been operating in the Chinese market and even some of these app developers had to pull out of the Chinese market as a result of tough competition which mostly resulted in their inability to generate enough revenue in the Chinese Chinese market. You can also look at this from another angle. Unlike the previous years where these app developers could just develop and optimize one app just for the Android ecosystem. Now that Huawei is no more using this Android ecosystem, these app developers will now have to develop specific apps for the Harmony operating system, which I must admit is time consuming and quite expensive. Putting this aside, these app developers will also need to be sure that they will be able to make enough revenue after making these investments. And given the fact that most of these apps are not even used in the Chinese market, Huawei has a lot of work to do before they finally go out into the global market with the Harmony operating system NES version. And over the years, Huawei has been able to pull quite a number of app developers into their ecosystem, which I must admit is a good initiative. Now, when it comes to gaining access to the Google services on the Harmony operating system NES version, for now, it is still possible to gain access to the Google services and some Google Play Store apps on the Harmony operating system NES version through the use of an Android emulator app, which is currently available on Huawei's app gallery. Huawei being able to pull this together I must say is a step in the right direction for the time being but this doesn't take away the fact that users will still love it if they can download these apps right from the Huawei's app gallery rather than the use of an Android emulator app which is more like an operating system within another operating system. This doesn't take away the fact that Huawei has done remarkably well. Taking a look at how biting the US sanction on Huawei has been for the past four years. Now in terms of growth and adaptation the Harmony OS NES is still growing at a remarkable rate, with the operating system currently being the second largest mobile operating system in the Chinese market. For now, the Harmony OS has a market share of 17% market share, whilst iOS follows at a third position with a market share of 16%. 
whilst under remains the market leader with 68% market share in the Chinese market. Now, at the global level, 80% of the market is held by Android, whilst iOS follows at the second place with 16% market share, whilst Huawei follows at the third place with only 4% market share. Now, as much as we all want to see Huawei roll out the Harmony OS Nest to the global market, as at now, it makes a lot of marketing sense of Huawei to focus on the Chinese market for reason being that if the Harmony OS can penetrate the Chinese market, it will set as a foundation to the success of the Harmony operating system at the global stage as well. Now, what is your take on this? Do you think it makes a lot of sense for Huawei to delay the rollout of the Harmony operating system NES to the global market? Or you think Huawei should just go ahead and push it out into the global market? Now, what is your projection for the Harmony operating system, especially when it comes to the global rollout? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you find this content informative, kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next updates. See you in the next one.